you have a chance of showers as we head into the weekend. It's going to be a little breezy out there this evening. The showers are going to be hit or miss, but they're going to be out there through the first half of the day tomorrow. Be flexible with any outdoor plans Saturday morning, but I think you're good to go Saturday afternoon and especially Sunday with sunny, warmer conditions for the second half of the weekend. Let's take a look at First Alert Doppler, and there are some showers down the peninsula. Those showers in the North Bay just falling apart as they crossed over 101. There's going to be more shower activity as we head through the rest of tonight. The center of the storm system is still farther to our north, but it's going to be dropping down across the Bay Area as we head through the rest of tonight, which means as it gets closer, just squeezes the atmosphere a little more efficiently and makes the most of the limited amount of moisture that it has access to. Still some scattered showers out there to start the day Saturday, but as the system moves farther and farther south, it just drags that energy away and we should be drying out, even clearing out tomorrow afternoon. But it's still going to be on the cool side. Clear skies tomorrow night, clear skies for the second half of the weekend with lots of sunshine Sunday and into Monday with temperatures back above average for a couple of days. A little mini roller coaster ride to our temperature pattern. If you're heading up to Tahoe or anywhere in the Sierra, be prepared for some snow showers tonight and tomorrow. It is not going to bring traffic to a halt. The roads aren't going to be closed, but it could be a little slick in spots and slow going. So just plan ahead for that. Looks like really nice weather for Tahoe on Sunday with temperatures a few degrees above freezing and a mix of clouds and sunshine. The showers around the Bay Area are going to help our air quality, but really just the presence of a different air mass moving in has helped our air quality. Mostly green dots on the current air quality map indicating good air quality, just that cooler air moving in, helping to remove some of that haze from the horizon. There are more rain chances farther down the line, but they're fairly meager as well. Monday night into Tuesday, another wave of cool air is going to try to squeeze out some showers, 20 to 30 percent chance there. Another chance of showers by Thursday night into Friday of next week. The long-range data has been really inconsistent, so it limits our confidence in whether or not we're actually going to see any measurable rainfall at the end of next week. It's just something we'll keep our eyes on. Beautiful sunset out there this evening with the clouds building in, but the last of the daylight kind of ducking underneath those clouds. Temperatures were significantly cooler today, but a few spots did make it up to near average, reaching up into the mid to upper 50s and low 60s. We're not going to be quite that mild tomorrow. Current temperatures are mostly in the 50s right now, though you're already down to 48 degrees in Petaluma. We'll drop down to the low to mid 40s early tomorrow morning, some of the very chilliest spots into the upper 30s. And highs tomorrow not warming up much, mid to upper 50s across the board, a few degrees below normal, but we will make up for it in the second half of the weekend with highs returning to the 60s and staying pretty much in that neighborhood on Monday. Maybe a degree cooler to start the work week. A couple more shower chances. Tuesday, that looks like very light activity for Valentine's Day, so not a washout there. But the cool air that system brings in is going to stick around through the rest of next week and potentially into President's Day weekend.